We have already performed motor conduction velocity and F-wave tests. Now we move to sensory conduction velocity test. Taking into account the fact that we continue Mediano's nerve study, we can create linked test, as we did in the previous test. To do it, press F3 key and choose the required test from the list. You can also use sensory conduction velocity toolbar button, choose Mediano's nerve and left side. If you decided to create new test from motor conduction velocity test, it is recommended to create the linked test after stimulation in the first point, couple. In this case, the sensory response will be acquired from the same point of stimulation as the motor one. Note that electrodes for motor conduction velocity test should be connected to the first channel and for said sensory conduction velocity test to the second one. To make our study easier and faster, we place all the electrodes, connect motor conduction velocity electrodes to the first channel and sensory conduction velocity electrodes to the second one at the beginning of the study. Press F1 key to show help window. This window helps you to position all electrodes properly. Active electrode is placed on proximal phalanx of middle finger. Reference electrode is placed on distal phalanx of middle finger. Then we should place stimulating electrode. It is placed on the projection of medianus nerve on couple, about 1 cm below wrist in the middle of couple. Now we can start stimulation. Stimulation current is 2 mA. Produce the first stimulus. Then increase current value. Produce other stimulus. As soon as we obtain a high quality response, we can save it and correct marker positions. Then we should enter conduction distance. It is the distance between negative stimulating electrode, its position is marked by marker, and negative lead electrode. To enter measured values in the program, press the F2 button on the keyboard or dedicated keyboard. We can see that the program have calculated the sensory conduction velocity. The calculated value is displayed on the screen. Normal value is 60 meters per second, so the deviation is not significant. We have performed motor conduction velocity test, F-wave test and sensory conduction velocity test for the left side. To perform these tests for the right side, use key combination CTRL plus F4. This key combination allows creating the test for the same nerve from another side. Perform the same actions F as for the left side. Obtain the response from the right side. Now we can create the exam report. We have several tests. To switch between them, click on corresponding tabs at the top of the screen. Pay attention that report field located at the top of the window contain copy to report checkbox. If you want to include the test into report, this checkbox should be checked. We check these checkboxes for motor conduction velocity test, F-wave test and sensory conduction velocity test. To create the report, click on the new exam report toolbar button and at that the software generates the report. As we can see on the screen, this report contains report name, patient's data, tables with the results for all chosen tests, separate tests with curves and detailed tables for each test. At the top of the page we can add the conclusion. Conduction velocities, biomotor and sensory fibers are within normal frameworks. Now we can print the report using print toolbar button. Our research is finished. Thank you for your attention.